Thank you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Perfectly Good Podcast, the only podcast on the internet that is counting every John Hyatt song from A to Z. Joining me, as always, is my podcast sister, Sylvan Groff. Hello, Jesse. It's nice to talk to you once again. And what do you know? One letter down. Yes, I'm so go, excited. This, but, this yeah. feels... Uh, to pull back the curtain, uh, we're actually recording this on January 4th. Now, we try to have two or three episodes in the can so that in case something comes up that she and I can't record, we have something to release. So, but it it feels kind of nice. We're we're starting a new letter and starting a new year at the same time. Yes. Yes. And uh, just so everyone is aware, we are planning a multi-year podcast journey. Um, we have a Google site up where we've got the full list and some target dates. As Jesse said, we try to work ahead. Who knows what could happen in the yeah. months to come. But yeah, um, so far we're kind of on schedule. Yep. And um you want to do just the facts of the letter A? Yes, let's do just the facts on the letter A. Well, before I do that, so yes, how do you feel this is going? If I, we I'm do a self-evaluation, a good. Yeah, I mean, my goal when uh, we started talking about this was to re-engage with all of John Hyatt's catalog and maybe pay attention to some songs that I hadn't paid attention to for a while and um, take advantage of these stacks of articles and photocopies that I've still got all around my house that I've now moved uh, eight times. And every time I'm like, why am I still holding on to this thing that I photocopied when I was a high school student in the nineties? Well, now I'm giving them some use and it's been so much fun talking to you, Jesse, because, um, you know, neither of us are expert musicians or have a background in the music industry, but you really do engage the songs a little bit differently than I do. And there's nothing I love better than talking about John Hyatt's music. And I'm not intimidated because I'm not trying to talk to someone about scales or tempos or any of those things that I don't know about. That being said, I would love it if somewhere along the lines, someone comes and joins us and talks about some of that stuff. But um, mostly I've just been finding it fun and surprising how much I've forgotten and how much really listening to these songs intentionally gives me an even deeper appreciation than I had before, which who would have thought that I could deepen my appreciation of John Hyatt's music? Certainly not me. How about yeah. you? Yeah, I am loving this. Um, it is one. Um, I love that every other week you and I get to spend an hour, hour and a half together just visiting. And that's been a very, uh, that's been a blessing. It I just, I'm going to flat do that. Mm -hmm. I love it. Uh, I love that we have started to get a little bit of an audience and a community of people enjoying it. And, you know, I think as life gets busy, um, I kind of, <clears throat> you would, I would buy the new John CD out mm -hmm. of loyalty, play it maybe once or twice, and then move on to something else, not a deep dive. And so I, you know, we, we've mm -hmm. talked about the trilogy, you know, the sobriety trilogy um, and like a shout out to skip from the skip and Josh podcast. He says, that is my, those three are my John Hyatt experience. Um, he acknowledges his other, but that's his main When He thinks of John Hyatt. He thinks of those three. And so I have loved the idea that, and I hate to use forced, but you, we are motivated. Intentionally, yes. Yeah, intentionally motivated to explore songs that I may not have spent a lot of time with. Um, and mm -hmm. so it is, it's been a lot of fun. And I have enjoyed the, how we both come to the the lyrics and the story in different ways sometimes other times we're pretty in sync uh, but other times 
you know, you'll tell a story and I'm like, oh, I I didn't think of the song that way. And I know you've said the same thing to me. Like you've like, oh, I now want to go hear this song again because of your mentality. So I think this is a lot of fun. I am, um, we're, I, I'm a little, and, and we're still trying to figure out the method. Um, the way that we're doing right now is we're recording roughly two episodes every other week. And that's going to take us, oh God, forever. <laughs> so we may have to look at <laughs> trying to. ever. Yeah. Uh, we are on track to finish in August, or no, June 2028. So it'll be here before we know it. Five years. Yeah, no big deal. Uh, that's if he doesn't put out <laughs> any more music, which is not the idea. Um, so anyway. That I, does get tricky. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love this. Um and I appreciate you going along with the journey with me. This has been a lot of fun. Um, so um, the reason where we're doing this is I promise that every once in a while, JB uh, Clark and Rob Carmack were the hosts, and they still are. They just put out their 2022 media overload episode of Bruce Springsteen Sings the Alphabet. They were... Um, my inspiration to do this, they had gone through every Bruce Springsteen song in alphabetical order. Uh, they are about to go through chap season three, where they get all the songs that Bruce has released since they started. They made the decision, nope, TikTok, the list, the list is locked, and then we will come back the next time. Uh, so that way you didn't go, okay, I'm at I'm in M, M and I'm trying to do an F song. Uh, so yes. uh, but they and I'm blatantly copying this from them, after they locked down a letter, they kind of reviewed it. And um, and you said, hey, that sounds fun. So just the facts for the letter A, what do we got? Yes. And I will ditto the thank you to our pioneers and um, our models uh, for this podcast. Thank you, Skip and Josh. So just the facts on the A's. There were technically 13 A songs that John has released so far. We discussed 12 of them because we decided we were going to wait a little while to talk about Adios to California. So... Of that, of the dozen that we talked about, the highest rating was Alone in the Dark, which was our only unanimous five-star song. Uh, actually, the only song that either of us gave five stars to. The lowest was Baby's Gonna Kick, which uh, Jesse rated one and I rated two. We had uh, three four-star songs. So all in all, we're averaging a little under three and a half stars for those uh, dozen songs. And I think that actually looks just about perfect that we are utilizing the scale as I intended it, that a one star song is still really good because it's John Hyatt. The five stars are not going to be every song, even though it's John Hyatt. And if we're ranking them against other people, we'd of course rate every song a five star. So I'm feeling really good about where we are and how we've been utilizing the scale. Um, so far we have covered nine studio albums, including Little Village, one special single release and one official live release. And the only album so far that we've talked about with more than one song was the Eclipse Sessions. And if you can believe it, Jesse, 18 studio albums remain untouched. So there is a lot still to cover. Just the fact that you can say someone has 18 studio albums, period. And then that's just what we haven't yet talked about after going through a full letter worth of songs kind of blew my mind. And yes. actually, so far, we have only talked about one of the recovery trilogy that you were just mentioning. We have yeah. not yet touched stolen moments or, or slow turning. Yeah, it's it's interesting because every week... Um, Linda, and for those of you, if this is your Foster podcast that's with us, this, that's my wife, um, says, you know, because Wednesdays are recording and I do every other week, I do Doctor Who and then I do uh, our Hyatt podcast. And so she's asked, is this Doctor Who or John Hyatt? And I go, it's John Hyatt. So what song are you doing? And I tell her and she more often than not, she has said, I don't know that one. <laughs> Uh, because she is very much a fan of the classic who, uh, classic uh, Hyatt. So I think that's interesting. By the way, 
for those of you who may be um, putting your head weird, um, we ended up doing one B song before we went, oh, wait, we're supposed to do this. So you guys haven't heard uh, Baby's Got a Kick, but we that's coming up. And so since we were doing our numbers, we included that in there. Yes. Sorry about that. Yes. No, 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 no. That's okay. I, I'm, I, I did the same thing when I was doing my averages. I included, I didn't think about, oh, crap. That's right. That's a B. That's a B. Yeah. yeah. Oops. Um, overall, I, I think, um, the fandom, the feedback we've gotten is that, um, I think they, some people think we're a little tough on our grading. Um, mm -hmm. and I think, um, I like, for example, angel eyes, I told you, man, I wanted to give this thing a five because I just love mm -hmm. that song. But I, but then when you think about, okay, have a little faith, mm -hmm. you know, angel eyes, well, not quite right. Um, you know, slow turning, uh, you know, yeah. I mean, they're, they're, so it is, um, if this is not a very, um, I hope it's not a very entertaining podcast. If you go, I loved it. Well, I loved it too. Okay. Five next. Right. Day, right. right. You know. Yeah. That's very good. Yes. And as I said, it, it, we're starting on a scale of this is freaking brilliant because it's John Hyatt. Yes. And then there's the best of the best of a brilliant singer songwriter. Right. So yeah, that's where we're trying to just you know find our groove and um have the discussion yeah. um i did i mention how often we agreed or disagreed no you did not please okay so we agreed seven out of the 12 times when we disagreed it was only by a half a star or up to one and a half stars uh which we won't talk about which of us cheats blatantly and does half star ratings but <laughs> yes <laughs> Um, um. <laughs> I, I did notice that um, our, on average, which of us gives the higher score? Did you do that? Oh, okay. I did not do that. Which of us gives the higher score, Jesse? Well, if you go through, um, and uh, I, I actually, by a slight amount, um, you are a little bit higher than me just barely Ooh. i believe let me let me double check that let me let me do the let me do the quick math um and then uh i average 3.66 not including back of uh baby's got a kick and you average 3.25 so i am slightly higher that you are the tougher okay grader. i i think i'm okay with that yeah yeah um because i've always said that you know Despite being known, if people know me, they probably know that I am a huge John Hyatt fan. Right. Um, but, but that doesn't mean just universal uh, praise for everything he does. I am going to, you know, be a harsh critic at times. So yeah. I, I can live with being the harsher of the critics on the Perfectly Good podcast. Yeah, I think by that's... what was it? Point yeah, one. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, it was like, yeah, point. Yeah. Tenth the percent, uh, so we are pretty good, yeah. close. Um, so uh, we've got our spreadsheet in front of us, uh, or at least I have mine. I, I assume you have yours. Is there anything mm -hmm. that you go? I think I was a little rough, or did you think you were a little um, generous? I was prepared for that question, and I want. I wanted to find at least one song that I could say, no, I want to change that rating. And I, I got to say, I don't. Um, as I said, I had such a great time engaging with these songs. And even the one that I was pretty harsh on, um, I I enjoyed listening to it again and again and again. Again, peeling back the curtain, um, Jesse and I know what songs we're going to discuss. So we each 
put together a little playlist and, you know, just put everything on repeat. And at no point while I've been preparing for a podcast, have I thought, I don't want to listen to this. I have enjoyed it immensely. So there's nothing that, you know, I rated highly that I would downplay, but then when I'm just looking over the list and I'm comparing how great some of these songs are to, you know, I had to go out of my way and put it on that playlist and think about it intentionally to record the podcast, to remember it and engage and think about how great it was. You know, it that to me is where the ratings are coming is how much I have to work for it as opposed to it just smacks you on the face how wonderful it is. Okay, how that's about you? It. Well, so I'm looking and the only thing that stands out is almost fed up with the blues. I remember uh -huh. not liking that song particularly and was planning to give it a two. And then mm -hmm. your discussion of it and dis uh, and our, I rem if I remember correctly, I went, hey, I think you've changed our mind and ended up going a 3.5. I think I would, if I have the court's permission, I would drop that <laughs> at least to a three and maybe to a two because I think I was overly caught up in our emotion and our discussion and I really loved your take on it. So I was feeling that. So I that's the only one I'm unhappy with. Interesting. And that's really the, the largest point spread between the two of us because yes. I kind of started it too and I stayed there for exactly what I was just saying that we did have to work for it. And, you know, in that discussion that night, I would have agreed with you that this is such a great song and it holds up and, I still feel it's a great song and it holds up, but what you have to do is sit there and really listen to the song and, you know, analyze the lyrics and really dive into there, not just kind of let the song grab you on its own. Yeah. So are we officially changing the spreadsheet, Jesse? I am changing the spreadsheet. Yes, I am changing Ooh. it to a two, but... Because we are nerds, I put it in a different text color, so you know oh, good. that that you know that was not the official uh, number. Now I didn't go. I guess I could put a note originally three point five. Was we'll see if we have an even bigger nerd in our audience who like starts doing yeah. the well. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, <laughs> it it says too, but surely yes exactly good uh there i've added a note <laughs> uh but everything else i'm happy with uh like i said good. you know uh, um emotionally um angel eyes really kicks for me but i do think it's a perfect you know a four um overall i think it's good i think we've um it what i think is you talked about he's done um, this was from, we've had hardly any duplicates on albums and we've had, um, from, I guess is 87, the earliest I'm looking at the dates mm -hmm. was 87. I believe 87 is the earliest. So yeah, not even any pre-trilogy yet, which is interesting. Yeah, it is very, yeah. And then up to, uh, 2018 was the latest right i don't think we had uh 2019 kind of okay. it, that's okay. the um all kinds of the people. cd yeah. single with yeah lily yeah. so okay. you know yeah yeah no no that's good so we haven't so it is interesting that we haven't gone to any of the quote-unquote pre you know in springsteen turns born to run Right. Like, like, like that was, that was his breakout album. The his pre breakout. Yeah. Yeah. This is, we have not had a pre breakout album. Uh, and I'm kind of looking forward to seeing that. I, I think that's going to be very mm. fun. Good. Yeah. Me too. Yes. Uh -huh. um, all, right. all right. So um, next week we're going to go to bees. Um, and uh, we've got what, I guess I didn't count. We've got about 10, 12 bees. 
Great Just question. Uh, something like that. Okay. Um, hold on. 14 says. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah. All right. That sounds great. All right. Um, all right. So um, the spreadsheet is on Google Drive. And uh, if you guys want to see it, uh, we'll make sure we have that. Uh, that link is on the Facebook page. So you can check it out. Yep. Um, and uh, we'd love, once again, I do want to say, uh, so far it's just been Sylvan and I discussing. Um, you are welcome to join us on a song. Um, you, you may want to um, pick one before we get to some of the really, really wild ones. Uh, you know, but yeah, we'd love to have an extra voice. We are already talking about when we get to something that, you know, everyone wants to be on, we may have to do a round table, but, uh, you know, Hey, Buffalo river homes coming up that that's gotta be somebody's favorite. Cause I know it's one of mine. <laughs> so absolutely. Yeah. All right. Uh, Sylvan, if they want to reach you, how can they? They can find me at Sylvan Green Eyes on Twitter. They can, as you said, find us, uh, our Perfectly Podcast Facebook page or Sylvan Groth is my personal Facebook pe um, persona. Um, that's the easiest. How about you, Jesse? I am at Jesse Jackson DFW on Twitter. You can find me. I am Jesse Jackson in Louisville, Texas on Facebook. Um, I don't spend much time on Instagram, but I am on there. Uh, and so, yeah, and you can send us an email to uh, perfectlygoodpodcast at gmail.com and uh, send us some feedback. We would love to hear from that. Um, and if you could go to iTunes, rate and review us. Uh, right now we are, we are, we are holding on three reviews. And so we would love to get into double digits. So if we could get a few people to go to iTunes, rate and review us, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, yes, all right. So, and so, um, in a timey wimey bay, we've already done one B episode, but technically they haven't heard it yet. So the next episode you hear guys and gals will be a B and, uh, we're going to get through that. So, Sylvan, yes. thank you. Any final thoughts? Killer bees. Yes. Yes. Killer bees. Yes, indeed. All right. Well, I guess we'll end as always. Have a little faith. Have a little faith. Baby, we can come on home. Put the cow horns back on the Cadillac and change the message on the